What to pack in your hospital bag? Hello and welcome to the Imaginatal YouTube channel. We'll be talking all things pregnancy, motherhood and baby related. In this video, we're looking at what to pack in your hospital bag. Be sure to hit subscribe to see the latest content and give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful. So, where to begin? Well, first, let's talk about your partner. I know that might seem like a weird place to start, but they often get left out of the planning. For your partner, you'll want to ensure that they have some snacks and drinks packed, some for them and, of course, lots for you. Make sure they have some cash to hand, preferably coins, because this can come in handy for parking and vending machines. A phone charger, if they're allowed, is also a pretty valuable item. Now they're taken care of, let's talk about you. You want to pack some key toiletries, things like a toothbrush and toothpaste, a hairbrush, unscented deodorant, towels and soap. And of course, pack an abundance of sanitary towels. It's common for there to be a lot of bleeding post labor, so keep yourself stocked up. You might want to pop in things like lip balm and hair ties as well. Basically, anything that would make you feel more comfortable is definitely a big plus. Now you want to think about clothing. It's good to think about this in terms of each stage of the labor, pre, during and post. In doing so, you're less likely to forget some items. Things you might want to pack include a comfy dressing gown with some slippers, get yourself plenty of underwear, something super comfy and of course some comfy bras too. If you're breastfeeding, think about some front opening pyjamas. Additionally, pack some loose clothing for the following day. Again, put comfort and function first. Some other items which might help make you feel more comfortable include extra pillows, as those hospital pillows aren't exactly Marks and Spencer vibes. Grab some magazines or books or load up your favorite podcasts. One random yet helpful item is glucose tablets. You can pick these up from pharmacies and supermarkets and they're a great way of giving you a burst of energy when you need them. Make sure your nurses and doctors know it's usually totally fine, but it's worth checking. And if you can have them, you will love them, I'm sure. And finally, we get to the baby items. Of course, you'll want to pack baby clothes, including grows, hats and scratch mitts. Pack some nappies. In fact, pack a lot of nappies. Grab yourself a cosy swaddle blanket and depending on the season, you might want to pack some warmer items like a coat or jacket. It's worth packing some barrier cream and if you're not breastfeeding, ensure you've got some formula and bottles to hand. The last item you'll want, not in your bag, but definitely in the car, is the car seat. Have that plugged in and ready to go. So that's everything. Let us know in the comments if you packed any additional items and why they were helpful. We'd love to hear from you and share that wisdom. We hope you enjoyed this video and for more content, please hit that subscribe button. See you next time.